Okay, I would like to show how to satin stitch a small tight circle. This circle is a little bit larger than half inch in diameter. The first thing you want to do is get two pieces of um, tearaway stabilizer and you turn them right angles to each other and then you put your fabric on top that has your fused circle on it. Next we want to stitch it or put it under a machine to stitch it. I'm going to use orange for a contrasting thread just so you can see it. I put the, the presser foot down and I lower the needle into the circle. I'm going to sew a few stitches and then I'll turn it slightly. Sew a few more stitches and then turn it some more. And this way I'll go all the way around the circle. Each time trying to keep the stitch perpendicular to the edge of the circle. So for a tight circle you have to turn it a lot. And it makes for a much smoother satin stitch if you always turn it with the needle down and on the outside of the curve. So if you'll notice each time I'm turning it, I always turn it when the needle is in the purple fabric, not in the green fabric. So in this way, slowly go around the circle. You can take your time, you don't have to go fast. My stitch length is um, somewhere between zero and one. You can experiment with it to see how close how closely spaced you like your stitches. Um, whenever you're doing a satin stitch, it's also important to make sure that your tension is a lot less than doing a straight running stitch. When I get about halfway around the circle, I like to lift the presser foot with the needle down, turn this over, and pull the threads to the back side. And some people just sew in place for a few stitches to knot it, but I usually pull my threads to the back side and then tie them on the back. Now I can sew over it, but my threads are already through to the back. So I keep sewing. It's time to turn. Turn again. So my right hand is positioned where I can slowly always be able to reach the presser foot. And I'm almost all the way around the circle. Keep going, a few more stitches. And then when I get to the end, I go over the first two stitches one or two times. Can pull this up, pull the threads to the back, and then I have a perfectly satin stitched little circle.